channel. For those of you just joining my channel for the very first time, my name is Yami and I am a fitness YouTuber where I talk about fitness, food, I show you guys some workouts, and just whatever I really feel like filming, really. Today, I am filming a video that I've been wanting to film for a really long time, for a couple months now, but you guys know that I got a little sick and I was just like out of commission for a little bit, so I am committed and this is the month that it's really gonna happen. And with that being said, we are doing February favorites. I compiled a list of things I've been using a lot lately. So you know how like sometimes you just like fall in love with something and you just use it constantly? Well, that's what I tried to make my favorites be about. I picked some stuff dealing with fitness, food, beauty, just things that I think could help you guys out. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna start with food because I have some food here that can go bad if it's not refrigerated. So first and foremost, you guys know that I'm on prep right now and I have to get creative with my foods and with my low carbs and everything. So I found a couple things that help me tremendously while I'm on prep. First, we're gonna start with what's been on my Snapchat lately. It's these baked blue corn tortilla salted chips. I think I said that right, but they're from Trader Joe's. And for one serving, which is about 18 chips, is two grams of fat, 22 carbs, and three protein. I love to use these for nachos. Lately, I've been doing nacho taco salad to create more volume. And it feels like I'm having a really bad meal, when in reality, I'm just having 22 grams of carbs. So that's that. Then we move on to Broccoli coleslaw. You guys might be thinking, why is she showing broccoli coleslaw? Because guys, if you're ever on prep or if you're ever on low carbs for whatever reason, this is going to be your savior. For a good serving, it's only five carbs and two protein for this. So you can double it up and have a big mound. I actually had this for lunch today with this chicken and shrimp and it tasted delicious. So this is also from Trader Joe's, but you can find this anywhere really. Speaking of what I had for lunch today, I also had this on top and a lot of you have heard of walden farms but this is the walden Farms sesame ginger and i go back and forth with walden farms i have things i like things that i hate my favorite definitely this one right now chocolate syrup the caramel syrup the pancake syrup is the best hands down for me so yeah this one sesame ginger is a good go-to zero everything zero carbs zero protein zero fat so next we have another thing that i've been talking about lately is this chunky guacamole from Trader Joe's. This is made from Greek yogurt. Uh, nutrition facts for a serving is two grams of fat, uh, two grams of carbs, and one protein. So also something that I put on my nachos every night. <laughs> That's it for like food food. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I just got in the mail that we ordered. I've been wanting to order this for a really long time, but I just never did it for some reason. But with the Arnold coming up and me being on prep, I decided to just go for it and just purchase it. So I got this in the mail yesterday, and this is what it is. I don't know if you guys know what it is yet, but it's a scale. Literally, you just open it up, it goes like this on the table, and you weigh it out. So it's not super huge and chunky, and you can just close it right back up and put it in your purse. And it works fantastic, I already tried it. And it comes in this little box, and this is the company, Joseph Joseph. They have this color in white, and they also have like a bright green. It's kind of like this green right here. I chose the white because I didn't want to create a lot of attention when I'm going out to eat in restaurants and stuff. So you can take this out for Froyo, for dinner, anything, and you can stay on track. And you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love Fit Crunch Bars. And a lot of you have been asking for a discount code. And the word on the street is that we should be getting one soon, but I don't know yet. I don't have a timetable for that. The reason why these are my favorite right now is because this is a smaller protein bar. For one serving, you get 16 grams of protein, 14 carbs, and 8 fat. So I love the cookies and cream one. My favorite one at the moment. But for those that are looking into a little bit less carbs and less fat, we have these ones. And this is a Fit Elite, which is pretty much its sister company, and it is birthday cake. This is their newest flavor, and it's actually in GNC's right now online, I believe. But starting in March, they'll be at GNC's all over the place. And if you're going to the Arnold, they'll be at the Arnold, and you can try one firsthand. This actually tastes like birthday cake and not like fruity and not like... um gross because let's face it it should taste like cake right <laughs> i think that's it with the food from the food we are going to go to sneakers so i got these sneakers as a gift from Taz. they are the finets and that's my dog screaming outside these are the finets i'm obsessed they are so incredibly light 
and they are so comfortable and obviously the colors are perfect these are just like really super super light and it feels like you're not wearing anything at all gives you a little bit of support not so much but it's a little bit higher than the uh fly knit whatever it is i have the um i forgot what they're called but the black ones that i have and that everyone the freeze the nike fly knit freeze these i don't know how much they are i know they vary because it's very hard to find but these are my favorites right now let's talk training I've had this for a while, but I haven't showcased it on my YouTube channel just because I haven't done a favorites video, but uh, the slingshot, basically you just put this around your above your knees or below your knees, and I use it to warm up, and it's pretty much like bands, but it's a little bit more resistant and a little bit harder. So I know they have different sizes. I think I got a, a large, this is large. And yeah, just try doing body weights with this stuff or body weight squats with this stuff. You will start sweating like it's nobody's business. So this, I usually warm up with this right before my heavy squats. And yeah, it's great. It's great to activate your glutes super quick. You can get it at bodybuilding.com or I think slingshot.com. I'm not so sure. Just type in uh, slingshot in Google and I'm sure it'll come up. Next, the Supernova. I've had this, well, I got Taz this for Christmas two years ago and I've never really used it until now. Think about a foam roller, it's for my fast release. I have been using this for my neck slash scapula area because I, I feel like I'm really, really tight up here and that's what might be causing the migraines and like the dizziness and stuff. So, because every time I use this, I instantly feel better. And I don't know if it's like the placebo effect or I'm just thinking that it's making me feel better, but Whatever it is, it's working and I just go against the wall and I just like press my back on it and move my arms and the motions, ow, and I'm stuck. And then I also use it for my chest because my chest is super tight from being forward all the time. And you can also use it on your legs, on your glutes, calves. It goes a lot deeper than a foam roller would, so I suggest this. If you don't have access to this, you can use a tennis ball, a lacrosse ball, softball, things of that nature. A lifting belt. It's by Harbinger, I can't pronounce it, but I was never really one to use belts, but we got that certificate from bodybuilding.com, so I decided to try it out. I love it. I feel a lot more secure. It's a constant reminder to keep my abs and core nice and tight throughout the entire movement, and it makes me just wanna go heavier because I feel supported. Two things, so you guys know that I am an athlete for uh, Pretty Fit, and they just finally released their pre-workout and their BCAAs. The BCAA, if you can see, just a beautiful packaging. I think this is just berry, uh, berry blast, and it's delicious. I usually hate anything berry, like a flavored, but this is delicious. I mix this with three grams of creatine and I have it right after my workout. And sometimes I have it during my workout or when I get hungry, I just um, have some of this to keep me uh, satisfied until my next meal. And then the pre-workout, this one is a cherry ice cherry ice and it literally tastes like a like those ice cream things <laughs> i forget what they're called it doesn't give me like that fuzzy feeling in my ear we respond to pre-workouts differently but i always get like jittery in my in my face and i feel like i have to scratch my face off and my ears start like freaking out i get none of that with this and i really really like that that's a big big thing for me check them out you can you get 20 percent off with my code yami20 on on prettyfit.com okay this is a lot of products but you guys from my last video you guys saw that i received a package from Porador, and basically they are a company that specializes in uh, beauty products with argan oil so they sent to me the shampoo conditioner and some oils and a moisturizer and i'm going to talk about the shampoo and conditioner first don't mind this it fell today while i was in the shower <laughs> so now i have to just open it which is fine but the shampoo and conditioner i love it's actually what i just used the lang lang tea tree oil lavender oils to influence shine for a healthier luxurious feel it doesn't lather up as much as normal shampoos would and that's totally okay but I find that I have to use a lot more to feel like my hair is being cleaned. You probably don't, but that's what I do. This smells fantastic, but this, I would have to say, smells a lot better. This one is uh, lavender and vanilla extracts, which is my favorite. And again, 99% plant-based ingredients, argan oil, nourishes and adds shine. And I love, 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 love this conditioner. As you guys know, during Vlogmas, I did a hair tutorial type thing, and you guys saw how long it took me to detangle my hair. I used this and I mean it was still naughty I'm not gonna say that it's disappeared all of my knots but it helped tremendously it was a lot smoother to get the knots out a lot less painful and a lot faster too I think I did it in like 10 minutes if that so 
this healing conditioner wins in my book and the smell is just fantastic so good i want to make a candle out of that talk about their oils i got vitamin c uh rose hip oil and argan oil you guys know i'm gonna be super honest i have not used this one yet because i haven't found a reason to but i have used the vitamin c and the argan oil i use the vitamin c for right under my eyes because it's for dark circles and i don't know if it's working just yet just because it's been a couple days but I don't hate it. I like how it's not very oily and it kind of just, I don't use that much either, so that's the thing. I just kind of tap it under my eyes and then I use the moisturizer around my entire face. That's the moisturizer and I'm obsessed with this because it's not oily and all I have to do is use a little bit and it goes a really long way and also smells fantastic. I have noticed that after using this, I don't feel my face is as dry throughout the day. With other moisturizers, I feel like I have to keep on putting on moisturizer because my face gets a little bit dry. But with this, I haven't had to do that. Then, last but not least, this Argan Oil. I actually used this first for my hair. Not so happy how it came out. It was kind of oily the entire time and my hair doesn't really get oily. It kind of felt like it was like droopy and it didn't have much volume and it didn't... <laughs> what's that? It didn't do what it's doing right now. It's like, you see how there's like a little bit of volume? It was kind of just laying flat. So I don't know if it's because it's my curly hair or I don't know what, but I did use this for my body and I was super, super dry because of the weather change here in New Hampshire and this instantly helped me. So I'm gonna be using this for my body for like the tough spots like my elbows, my knees, things like that. So again, if you guys are interested in this company, they were nice enough to give me a discount code for you guys. I believe it's 25% off and I don't remember the code, but I will put it right here so you guys can go. I highly recommend the conditioner and the shampoo, the moisturizers, everything really. Everything's fantastic. Last but certainly not least, makeup. I'm not a big makeup person. I used to be in Miami, but you know, starting doing fitness and stuff, I kind of just stopped wearing makeup. But for some reason, I was intrigued again and I bought two things. I got this makeup brush from Morphe. And it's just a foundation brush. You can see the bristles. It's very dense and it's just a flat brush. I've been using this in place of my beauty blender and all you do is just put the foundation and you just in circles. And I'm obsessed. I even use this for my concealer and also for my contouring. So multi-use brush, which is great. Morphe G6. Morphe G6. And I think with uh, Jack's code, Jack Attack, you get like 10% off. I found this lipstick. It's been my favorite for a couple months now. Well, end of January when I went to the LA Fitness was when I bought this. And it's what I'm wearing right now. It is matte and it's like a natural color. It's on wet and then it dries matte. I've eaten with it, I've drank with it, and it doesn't stay on all the way, but for the price, I think it's a pretty good lipstick. Again, I am no makeup expert, but this is just what I like right now. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and I like how it's not like super shiny and everything. So that's it another thing that i really really like in terms of fitness is everlast new power brackets there are these two things i actually posted a video of me using them they are super versatile you can use them for push-ups dips inverted rows hopovers, whatever you want and uh these are them right here and i think they sell them in sports authority dicks and stuff like that but you can get them on everlast and they actually just gave me a discount code so i'll put it right here i think it's fitym20 It'll save you 20% off those and anything else off the website. So those are something that I really enjoy. You can get really creative with it so that your workouts are not boring. And last but not least, one of my favorites that I've been using constantly is actually on my phone and it's a new app, Fit Radio. So it's right here. I actually got this from Randy Kennedy who got it from Elle. So <laughs> thanks to them. Pretty much it's just a fit radio where you can set timers so you can do like hit interval. I just use their just mixes and they have a featured um, hip hop, I think, top 40 pop, and you just play it. Loading. And. Alright, but you play that, and it's pretty much all great music for an hour and a half, and you don't have to worry about, like, oh, this song came on, what a Debbie Downer, or I hate this song, let me find a new song. Honestly, I haven't. I used to do Pandora, and I was like, ugh, I hate this song. And I might not know all the DJs or the songs that they're playing, but the beat is so good that I don't really care. I'm just working out and focusing on my workout and not focusing on the music. So check it out. 
it's called fit radio and again like i said you can program like the song to start for when you're doing your hit intervals and then you can stop it for resting so it's really really cool i haven't really gotten too much in depth with it but i did want to share it with you guys so you guys can use it so that's it guys thank you so much for watching sorry this video was a little bit weird didn't make complete sense it's my first time doing the type of video but let me know if you liked this favorites video and if you want to see more of this type of video every month things i find things i like things i don't like anything you want let me know below and i will start doing that i think that is it i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and share this video with someone you think might benefit from it also if you're not following me on my other social media channels follow me there so we can be besties <laughs> thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one